Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. So friends, in this class we will be learning uh, the data types that we use in C program and we'll practice some example programs to demonstrate those data types. So first we'll understand what are data types. A data type is a keyword which specifies the type of data being stored in the variable. If you remember uh, when, we, when we were performing the program on uh, mathematical operations and some other programs, we have declared some variables as well as we specified the type of those variables, right? Using the keyword int and float. So int and float here are the keywords and they are the data types okay all data types are keywords first then they are data types because a C program has a set of 32 keywords and some of them are data types which specify the type of data of the variables data types are used to define variables before to use in a program so before writing the further program in the declaration section we have to uh, declare the variables with the data types so the compiler will uh, recognize the type of variables and the number of variables before it's going to execute the further program right so size of variables are determined by data types there are situations uh, where we store different kinds of data data of characters, integers and floating type, real numbers so th there are different types of data that we store in variables and so data types are used to uh, used to find out the size of variables for the compiler so by looking at the data types compiler uh, compiler will find out the size of the variables that is going to allocate in the future right data types are put before the variables in the declaration to specify variables type as we did in the last programs for example int num and sum so here in this example it's a declaration statement uh, which declares two variables respectively num and sum of the type int so int is a data type uh, defining the type of data being stored in num and sum variables all data types are keywords so moving on first we'll understand and know uh, the different types of primary data types so primary data types are also called as fundamental data types basic data types right first comes the care data types so which requires one byte of memory for a variable right char is a data type uh, which represents all the characters corresponding to the ascii code between minus 128 and plus 127 right so when you declare a variable with the data type char it has to have one byte of memory for the character and it can store any character corresponding to the uh, ASCII code minus 128 to positive 127 so whatever comes between minus 128 to 127 that character can be stored inside a variable of type char so int variable must require two bytes of memory if we are running the program in 16 bit word length computer the memory size of the variable depends the on the word length of the computer if we are using 16 bit computer so int variable must require two bytes of memory if we are running the program on 32 bit computer it requires four bytes of memory for a integer variable let us assume that we are running this program on the 16 bit computer and we'll find out it later and uh, the integer variable a single integer variable requires two bytes of memory and the range of value that we can store in an integer variable lies between negative 32768 and positive 32767 whatever the number between these two values can be stored in an integer variable so this is the range of uh, 
integer variable you cannot exceed 32767 right if you want to have a more value in a integer variable then you must go for the long variable so long is a data type representing a variable which can store a longer value than the integer variable so long variable uh, must have or it must uh, require four bytes of memory and we can store up to uh, to 1474836467 so here we have the both negative and positive range whatever comes between uh, these two uh, range can be stored in a long variable right so we are assuming the 16 bit computer a long variable in 16 bit computer must require four bytes of memory so for real numbers or with the numbers with the decimal value are stored in the float variables so a single float variable requires four bytes of memory and can have six decimal the fractional part right and the range for this float variable starts from 3.4 exponent minus 38 that means 3.4 into 10 to the power minus 38 and the maximum value that can a float variable have is 3.4 into 10 to the power positive 38 and the float variable can have a number with the fractional part consisting of maximum six decimal places and a double is also type of a float variable but it can have 14 decimal places after the point after the decimal point and you can find out the range of a double variable and there is one more data type called void which is an empty data type normally used with the functions or sub programs uh, it, it cannot be used to, uh, along with the variables but it represents the return type of the function uh, where we used it right uh, every function in the C program has to return something to the calling function if the function is returning nothing then we represent uh, that nothing with the keyword void or void is an empty data type uh, uh, which normally specify the return type of the function when the return type is nothing just mention the word void if it is if the function is returning something in the form of integers then uh, start the function name with uh, with the keyword int okay so friends to demonstrate the different data types in C I have declared all the various types of basic data types here so I've declared a character variable C integer variable I long variable L float variable F and double variable D so here we have got five different data types uh, for five different variables okay now let's go and find out uh, the f the memory size of all these data types so how to find out the memory size for this particular computer for any particular computer so C provides uh, a special type of operator called size of operator which returns which performs like a function and it returns the memory size of a specified variable I'll declare a integer variable called size of type int because the function the size of function returns or you can call it as operator it returns the number of bytes that a specified memory can hold so the number is in integer form so that's why we have declared the variable size in the integer form right so now I'm going to use this variable to store the size returned by the size of function uh, which consists of any type of variable so let us say I'll put I here okay so it I I've already declared the variable I and when I put this I inside the size of operator it will find out the memory required for the variable I and returns the number of bytes to the variable size because I'm assigning the result of size of operator to the variable size now let's go and print uh, the content of size the variable size right printf oh 
the memory the memory size for int zer is equal to percentage d comma size so here i am printing the content of c uh, which has got the number of bytes for the variable i which is of type int okay let us add the clear screen so remember you must have this clear uh, this clear screen statement after all the variable declaration control f9 so the memory size for integer is 2 so i got the number 2 in place of percent d which is a placeholder for this variable size right so size has got now uh, the memory size of integer i so like this we can find out the size of any variable here here in this printf statement i have included the size of uh, operator because i merged both in the single statement so this will give me the character data type so this will return the size of character data type because i have told here like the memory size of character data type is percent d byte uh, here in place of percent d i am going to place the content returned by the size of function size of c okay here it returns the size of the variable c so let's run this program and find out so here it is the memory size of character data type is one byte right so let me copy this line and paste it for all the other data types I put five different statements for printing all the five different basic data types so let's go and run this program here it is we have got uh, the size of character data type is one byte integer data type is two bytes long data type is four bytes flow data type is four bytes and double data type is eight bytes right so this is according to my system okay so you may got the different values in your computer so this is the function size of function returns the number of bytes allocated for the specified uh, variable so this is how we can uh, see the number of bytes or the memory space allocated for a variable so these are the different types of data types we have got in our uh, C language so first first let me save this file so I will call it as data types dot C well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn Thank you.